Welcome back to Quick Tips for Family video series. I am Patty Outen and I'm a psych consultant for the West Tennessee Behavior Supports Project out of the University of Memphis Lambeth campus. Today we are going to talk about a visual strategy you can use to help your child do tasks he or she doesn't like and earn privileges by completing responsibilities first. First then is also known as grandma's rule. You might remember hearing, eat your vegetables and then you can have dessert. Here's how it works. The first section involves a task that your child is expected to complete and the then section should always be a preferred item or activity or reinforcer for successful completion of the indicated task. For example, first Andre needs to do the dishes, then he can watch TV. This strategy can be used to teach a new skill, manage challenging behaviors, or to support a simple schedule. It can be used throughout the day, from morning routines, first dressed, then breakfast, to chores, first clean up, and then you can play outside, to bedtime, first put your pajamas on, and then we'll read a story. There are many benefits to this approach. First, your request is very specific and thus can be easily understood by your child. Second, you are acknowledging your child's wants and needs and at the same time, you are stating your wants and needs. Third, you are approaching the issue in a way that invites your child to cooperate. You may blank after you blank. You may watch a movie after you do your homework packet for today. As soon as you scoop the cat litter, you can play your new computer game. It eliminates the need to use fighting words. Fighting words are those words that start a battle before the sentence is even finished. Words such as, you can't, don't, no, stop. Those are fighting words. Notice how the choice of words affects the feeling conveyed by the request. Don't eat that cookie until after your dinner. Yes, you can have a cookie right after dinner. No, you can't play video games right now. Yes, you can play video games after you finish your work. It's very easy to create simple first then charts. Depending on the age and developmental level of your child, you can use words, pictures, simple clip art, photos, or the real item to represent task and reinforcers. It can be as simple as just a piece of paper and a marker. As you can see, Grandma's Rule allows you to use positive communication while being very specific about what you want. And the best thing is, it works. Children benefit by knowing exactly what is expected of them. Thank you for watching. Hope it helps.